This particular activity is good for large classes and small classes. In large classes, you'll want to break the groups up into four or five. And obviously, if your class is small, you'll want to make this a small game with small groups. This game is called Cuckoo, and it's good for language arts students, history students, science students, and English and foreign language students. It's akin to a fill-in-the-blank activity or a close activity. That's C-L-O-Z-E. And what you basically do is you break the students up into groups and you have the groups take it in turns choosing one of their members to go to the front of the class. The student goes to the front of the class and then turns around to face the group that chose him to go to the front of the class. The teacher then writes a word on the blackboard or the whiteboard, depending on whichever one you're using. If you don't have either of these, you can maybe whisper the word to the group of students and that would work just as well. So once the word has been decided and the student who is selected by the group is at the front of the class, you will then invite the group of students to say the word without the, saying the word. <laughs> so you'll basically have the group of students take it in turns generating sentences with the word that's on the board that the selected student does not know because you did not tell him and because he cannot see the word that's on the board. The stipulation, however, is that when the students provide the selected student with a sentence, they have to replace the word that the student does not know with the word cuckoo. So for example, if we take the word bus or the word phrase bus ticket, write that on the board, the students will then proceed with providing sentences with bus ticket but replacing it with the word cuckoo. So for example, one sentence that the group of students could use is don't forget to bring your cuckoo with you, or I hope you brought your cuckoo with you because we're going to be late. S these are sentences that you can use to give to the selected student to help the student trigger the phrase in her or his mind to try to then recall the phrase and then say it out loud. Obviously, you'll want to make this a timed activity to make it more of a gamified game and to make it more exciting for the students and more, more competitive. So this game can be very much like a hot seat game where you have the groups joust for <laughs> different phrases or words. You can have the student groups compete with each other on the same word or you can give them different words in uh, consecutive rounds. So you can have one group do one word and another group do another word or you can have both groups compete with the same word and whichever selected student from each group guesses the word first is obviously going to get points. Now if you want to give rewards for this particular activity you can give candy, a pat on the back, acknowledgement of their intelligence, you can give a pizza party, you can tell the students uh, that they are going to be praised by the faculty of your department. So there are many ways you can try to spin this to raise the stakes. I usually don't give candy because that kind of sets up an anticipation for candy in the future, which I always cannot promise to my students. But I do sometimes tell my fellow English teachers about the students that I have been working with and I let them know that they're doing a really good job and that usually sort of supports their reputation within the school and that that is a really clever gift I think so you could do that but uh, it's obviously going to depend on what your what your what you want to do with your class so if you want to give candy go ahead and give candy if not then try something else you know it's classes are very much a a trial and error procedure you know you're working with real people and real people are complex they're not computers they're not machines and sometimes you just have to kind of feel it out and see which which option is going to work best for you anyway i hope this activity has helped you out and given you some ideas for your next classes bye for now